hello guys welcome back to my channel this is guns graphics here today with a tutorial on how to create an awesome letter portrait effect on your pixel lab application but before we dive into today's tutorial i really want to take out time and wish you all a happy weekend great and if you are coming across our channel for the very first time please kindly subscribe to the channel so that you will be part of the team that receives fresh design tips and tutorials most of the time now without wasting much of your time let's dive into today's tutorial so the first thing i want to do here is to click on letter a which stands for my text then i'm going to double tap to put letter s a simple letter s now go to size and increase it size it up after sizing up like this come to color and give it a black color then go to stroke and give it a white color stroke then increase the size to, of the stroke to about 10 good now come to font and we're going to change this font into something better so the font i'm using is called hunters so you can download hunters font on the font.com now we're going to increase the size of this carefully and after increasing the size to this point let's check okay good position it here then go to copy first of all let's go to your paddling click on paddling and adjust the paddling because there are some paddling errors so i'm going to use right paddling a bit and after using that i will go to copy and copy the text so i have to then bring this one and place it just above the first and go to layer and lock it up click on your layer panel here then lock the letter that we are just from copying this one so we are going to hide and lock it up after doing that click back on the first letter but then we need to first of all give a shape so click here and choose a, a square a square shape make it to cover the entire uh, design layout just like so then go to your color and give it this light green so we are using this and tap to back after tapping to back click on layer so as we click on layer we are going to select these two shapes first of all we are going to select uh, this shape and the first letter s then we mesh them up so how do we select by simply clicking here then we select and after selecting click back here to mesh them up so we're going to mesh them and we send it to to back and as we send it to back go now to extract color to erase color sorry click on it then you enable it and use your color picker which is this to pick color black then click on the check mark increase the tolerance to about 20 and click on the check mark to continue after doing this go to layer and lock it up so after locking it up click on your import button on import here now guys the next thing that we have to do is to import an image that we will be using for this uh, letter portrait so i'm going to click on import and this is the image i will leave the link to this image on the video description so we are just going to size it up and position it like this you can increase it in size a bit So we are positioning it in such a way that it should cover the entire letter S on this left side. So it should cover it completely. Now copy it. As you can see, we have a second image. Then position it directly above the first and go to your layer button, the layer panel up here. Then you select this image and send it downwards. How do you send it? Simply by clicking on these eight dots here. 
long pressing on it and dragging it down here so let's quickly do that send it to back then you lock it up now let's click on this copied image by clicking on this pen icon then you go to your max tool click on the max enable it and begin to control to control the points so i'm going to position it this way then i also send this one like this okay good so after having this what you need to do now is to click on this check mark in order to proceed so we already have our portrait created then the next thing i have to do is to go back to the layer panel enable it and on height the other letter letter s that we copied do you remember i hope so <laughs> so now we're going to unhide it and lock everything lock the other layers except the letter s click on the letter s and go to color change the color to color red then go to shadow enable your shadow increase the blur radius to about 20 and let's offset the x-axis by about 15 degrees then you can click on the check mark to proceed now come to shapes click on shapes choose this square reduce the size and give it the same red color make sure that it's on the letter s then go to your layer panel now click on layer now we're going to select the shape that we're just from putting this shape and match it up with this letter s this letter so let's quickly select the two and mesh them, mesh them up by clicking here so we're going to mesh them up and after meshing them up don't go yet just click back on it and send it to the back of this image so we're going to send it one step downwards then you go to erase color enable it and use the color picker option to pick the red color out so click on this color picker and pick the red color then you can increase the tolerance a little bit and now after increasing the tolerance a little bit just about 20 go to layer and lock everything up good so after logging it up the next thing that we have to do is to complete the name uh, the letters the remaining letters of the name so the lady's name is Samira we've already used letter S so the next thing we want to do is to use A I A M I R A so which is uh, the full complete spelling of her name then go to your font and use the same hunters font so I'm using the same hunters please as you follow the tutorial don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you'll be part of the team that receives our fresh design tips and other tutorials thank you so much now we're going to increase the size of this considerably and bring it up here now go to your color so we're going to use a gradient i already created this a uh, yellow and black gradient so i'm going to click on this yellow and black gradient to give it this this look good so the next thing that i want to do is to bring in a coat just to beautify the design so i have some quotes here let me take that again so the next thing that you love to do is to click on quotes here 
get action, action since the moment man was never intended to become an oyster. So I love this encouraging, uh, motivating write-ups. I'm just going to give it color black. Then you go to your fonts. Let's choose a font that is much more better. And I'm going to use... The Roxford Sands Light. Then you can even reduce the size a little and position it just like so. Now, guys, after putting in your code successfully, the next thing that I want us to do is to come here on this background editing. On this, there is a certain option here for your background editing. This last one, just click on it so that we can add more beauty into the design. So, the next thing I want to to click on is to click on vignette so click on your vignette enable it but then you have to go and choose this last color here for the vignette so let's choose on it then you can increase the alpha by up to about 226 click on the check mark then let's save this design first of all so click here to save your work and so guys this is the awesome design we've been able to create with our pixel lab application thank you so much for watching up to this point and please kindly subscribe to the channel god bless you